the global pattern for oceans uh, is pretty dire. Uh, in general, there are sort of two major conclusions about what's happening to ocean ecosystems. One is that they are being depleted and disrupted. And the second major conclusion is that they are um, increasingly likely to undergo very rapid change. And in many cases, that's collapse of uh, an ecosystem. Um, and that's couched as loss of resilience uh, to um, <clears throat> maintain uh, the, the, the normal suite of goods and services that are typically uh, provided by a particular ecosystem. So that's the bottom line. Uh, what's the information for it? Uh, and what are the causes that are thought to be driving those changes? Uh, the causes are clearly multiple, and these play out differently, different parts of the world. Some of these are more important than others. Um, overfishing, use of destructive fishing gear uh, have been a very serious problem uh, all over the world. Uh, it's being addressed in some places uh, in some good ways. So it's not that everything is bad about fishing, uh, but the global pattern uh, has not been very uh, good. Pollution from land, especially nutrient pollution, in particular uh, fertilizers uh, used for agricultural purposes, uh, ending up in coastal waters, causing very significant changes in those coastal waters. But coastal development turns out to be a major uh, cause of many of the changes that are happening in oceans around the world. Uh, there are huge growth of, you know, how explosively Phoenix uh, metropolitan area is growing. The same thing is happening for most coastlines around the world. They're just growing explosively. And that coastal development is uh, having very real consequences to coastal ecosystems. Climate change and ocean acidification are also critically important. Now, we don't have time to go into all of those. So I'm going to focus just on overfishing and destructive fishing. Uh, because that is a very pervasive uh, influence pretty much every place in the oceans and is one for which we have a fair amount of information. So, but I don't want you to think that this is the only uh, challenge that's out there. It's fair to say that fishing practices have changed dramatically, uh, especially with modern technology. Uh, some of those changes are much for the better. Fishing is a much safer enterprise than it used to be. It's much more economically efficient. It's much more targeted. Uh, but it's also the case that we can fish farther and farther from shore because we have refrigeration. We have much better uh, ways of navigating. Um, we fish deeper and deeper, uh, and in many cases, much more destructively than we did, and in places that were inaccessible earlier.